appears to be working because we do get voltage there. While visiting my parents and my grandpa today, we're having a little family event. Um, we were discussing the freezer that had quit working on them. A couple weeks ago, they came in and sure enough, everything was thawing out. I had to move everything to the other freezer. I didn't really think much of it then because I was up here about two weeks ago. <clears throat> um, but today I was like, freezers really aren't that complicated. And compressors, even though they've got moving parts, can last decades and decades. Often it's some electronic or mechanical failure other than the compressor. So I figured I'd go through the steps, look, at the, look up the wiring diagram and see what might be failing on this unit. This here is this model number, but these freezers are fairly simple. This is what the inside looks like. So you've just got your thermostat here and your fan looks like a temperature switch there. And that's all that's in here. So here at the back, you've got the compressor, which is of course the main piece. And I've taken the cover off the back of the compressor and you've got the two wires coming in. And this is apparently some sort of a start relay but I've measured with the compress with the power plugged in and I get no voltage across these leads. So compressor is not getting power, relay is not getting power. So it doesn't seem to be a problem there. Now, next thing I did is looked at the diagram and here's the diagram. What we can see here though is that um, the thermostat inside feeds this blue wire. Uh, so this blue wire should be hot whenever the thermostat is calling for cooling. This here plugs into the defrost timer. So when I actually saw the timer, I thought that it was going to be unrelated to the compressor turning on, but actually the power does flow through the timer for the compressor to turn on and cool everything. So this is a, a potentially bad piece. So you've got your yellow and your white, which is the same here, yellow and white. There's not power there, but this yellow wire is only going to get power if the defrost timer connects the blue and the yellow. Um, I haven't looked at it. Looking at the diagram, I'm sure that it connects the blue to the orange whenever it's in defrost mode, and that means that the compressor would be off. So it's either in um, blue-yellow connected or blue-orange. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it in and see if I have power between the blue and the white. Got my multimeter lead stuck in, set on voltage AC 200, since I'm 120 volts that I'm messing with here. Sure enough, thermostat appears to be working because we do get voltage there. So that gives us the suspicion that it's just this defrost timer. So this would go in just like that, which means it's either the middle two here that are connected to each other or these two here. Let's see where we have continuity. So let's switch over to ohms there. And this is the one where if I touch my leads together, it should go to close to zero. Let's see what that does. So it appears to be in defrost, since those two is connected. Let's see if these two are connected. Nope. Gosh, now it's not even showing up. There it goes. Okay, so it appears, it appears that we're stuck in defrost mode. At this point, I feel like it'd be fair just to buy a new defrost module and see if it works, but I kind of wanted to see what this does inside. Um, so these two pins would be the ones that would be connected to each other when it's in cooling mode, and the right two pins would be for defrost mode. So you can see as you spin this, the left two are connected, connected, connected. It's going to pop. So now the right two are connected for just a short period of time and then the left two again. So somehow it got stuck. Now something I'm noticing though, as you turn this, the resistance gets more and more and more right up until it pops and then it drops a little bit. 
So it could be that the motor in here is just weak and maybe it got stuck trying to make it through that last little bit. So it could be some gears in here are not oiled well anymore. There's certainly a whole set of gears since it's moving very slowly. But I'm gonna take this apart even though what we're, we're gonna end up doing is just buying another one and see if it works. Scratch that, not taking it apart. I have to get these little plastic welds off, which wouldn't be all that hard to do, but it's not worth my effort right now. I'm gonna go plug this in and see if I can tell, if I can listen to it to tell if it's turning or not without a load on it. So even better, I went ahead and popped it back together and plugged it in, and I don't know if you can hear, but the compressor is running now. Uh, could very well stop next time it hits a defrost cycle though. So that, that's cool. I think we'll just be ordering a new one of these. It's got its little part number on the back and be back in business. If that helped you diagnose yours and you're gonna go buy a part for your freezer and want to help out the channel, check out the Amazon link below. I will link to this part um, or if you even need some other parts, following that link will help me. Thank you.